Report editor. Well, staying on this innovation theme, it is called the Anti Summit. It is about talking less and doing more. The event takes place alongside the Tribeca Film Festival today and tomorrow. One of the honorees, Thomas Suarez, a 15 year old who designed a revolutionary 3D printer. I asked him how he got his start at such a young age. I've always been interested in technology, and uh, I think curiosity is really driven that. I just saw all these different things that you could do on the computer with programming. Uh, you could basically do whatever you wanted to do. Um, and it was, it was really cool. You'd be really creative. You also wrote your first iPhone app when you were nine years old? Uh, somewhere back there. Yeah, somewhere, somewhere. Okay. And what led you to do that? And what was the app? Uh, so my first app was called Earth Fortune, and it was kind of a simple fortune teller app. It was kind of my, uh, it was an entry into the app store and uh, kind of learned a lot of concepts along the way. All right, but Bustin Jeeber is not silly at all. It's like whack-a-mole for Justin Bieber character, right? Yeah, that's probably the more silly one. What did your schoolmates tell you when they realized that you created this? They wanted to know how to create apps also, um, and they, you know, obviously this is not a five minute explanation. So I started an app club at my school uh, where we teach kids how to, other kids how to program and uh, create apps. You have created a faster 3D printer and I know you said it's gonna be 10 times faster than the MakerBot model which you currently use at home. Right. So how did you create something that's 10 times faster? I was getting frustrated with the, um, the speed of the existing MakerBot and it was, uh, you know, takes two hours to make a 3D print or whatever. Um, and I thought, you know, this is just way too slow. What were you actually trying to create? What were you trying to print? Um, I was trying to print prototypes for different other, for other projects that I was doing. Uh, I was working on smart glasses at one point, uh, different things like that. But uh, I was trying to create these prototypes and I couldn't do it fast enough. You know, I couldn't iterate fast enough. And so that really led me to create Orb. I modeled the first technology uh, around a record player or a CD. Okay. So it's basically you have a spinning disc and then uh, a record, kind of a record player style arm moves over it and extrudes uh, plastic. What do you think I'm going to be able to do with a 3D printer, let's say two years from now, that I can't do now? With 10 times faster technology, we're looking at iterating prototypes faster, uh, all the way to medical applications where, you know, they're 3D printing organs and different things like that. What is next for you? You've already accomplished uh, quite a lot. What's your dream job? So I, I want to continue App City. I want to bring uh, app programming uh, education to way more kids. Uh, and then I also want to continue developing Orb. What is your favorite part about working with the kids? Just seeing the reaction when a student uh, goes from a bug in their code to fixing it and then you know that's a huge milestone because it's so exciting to yeah it works and then going off to uh, to actually putting it up on the app store that's so cool. That was Thomas Suarez inventor of the Orb 3D printer. We have a quick